I cannot wait to show you this chess and checkers and Othello set. You can make it with your Glowforge Basic. It just takes four pieces of material and it can look awesome. Let's check it out. Okay, let's go over the top first and I'll show you what I made mine with and then I'll show you how it goes together. So it's got three layers and I used 1 8 inch walnut plywood for the top layer right here and I stained it a little darker than it came normally because I thought that looked really attractive. And then I've got a piece of uh, 1 quarter inch green glass acrylic in there in the middle and then I've got uh, some 8 inch walnut there again stained on the bottom or in this case that's the top. I then took uh, birch, Baltic birch there and the stained walnut and alternated the inlay pieces there for this look here. I really love it, but you can do whatever you want to with the colors and the types of wood. Let's set that aside and I'll show you how this goes together. So here's again those same three pieces I cut from Baltic Birch. The top piece here uh, has the holes for the magnets in the four corners and this is 1 8 inch and you want to keep this 1 8 inch because your magnets are most likely 1 8 inch thick. So you want to keep this the same thickness of your magnets. You will also know that this there's two pieces in the design that are like this one right here. You're going to know this one's for the lid because it's squared off on all sides. And you'll see the other one here in just a moment. So that's the top piece there. Then the next piece, I like it being used for, uh, I'm sorry, I like using quarter inch material here. I cut this again with green glass acrylic, as you can see here. And I like it a quarter inch because I can then take these pieces here that are eighth inch and I can inlay them into these squares and it'll set down in there, in there a little bit so that it has a little ridge right there and I really like that look and that feel. You can however cut this from one eighth as well and then you can either inlay the pieces one eighth so that they're flush or you could just stain or paint or color this bottom piece um, which goes under it so that way you can get whatever look you want. So you have a couple different options there. This one's pretty flexible. So again, this is the top or the lid. You put this piece down next and then this piece goes after it. Glue all those together, put your magnets in the four corners and this piece is done. So let's move on to the other part, well, the base that holds all the pieces. I'll flip this over and we'll start from the top here. We've got a 1 8 inch piece and you recognize this one similar to the other one over there. And the way you know this one goes on the base is because of these notches right here. The reason those notches are there is so that when you put the lid on top of here and the magnets pull it shut, you'll have a lip that you can pull on here to separate them. It'll make it a lot easier to open with the magnets pulling on it. So this goes on top and then it's followed by this piece here. And this starts the divisions here where you can keep all the pieces. Put that there. The next one is followed there is this one here. Again, now you start to have the uh, six slots that hold the checkers and the Othello pieces, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And then over here, you can put your chess pieces. Put that over here. Oh, and sorry, here in the middle, if you'd like to, you can engrave whatever you'd like there. Uh, you can engrave a message to somebody if this is a gift. You can create, uh, engrave a logo, maybe even some things about chess, some graphics, whatever you want. But that looked really great to do that. We'll flip it all back over here in just a moment and look at, the, look at it from the top again. Then there's another one that looks exactly the same. It's the same piece as this. Uh, you just have an opportunity to engrave something there. And you can make this out of wood if you want. I did mine out of acrylic, so I flipped this over on the acrylic and I engraved it backwards right there. So then when I put it in here, it looked like it was down inside the glass. And that was really a great look. Flip that over there. And then we've got the bottom piece. Now, with both the bottom and with the top, you can engrave things here. You can engrave something like who it's from or who designed it if you want to. And on the top, you can put something nice and big if you wish. When all these get stacked together, they look like this. And if you can see it here on the, on the video, there's a notch right here that's set in so that you can reach down and you can pull up the lid there uh, and it helps with the magnets. I'll take this one and put it like this so you can see it. 
just like that. So there's a little ridge right here so you can pull up to separate the top from the bottom. Let me show you the pieces and how those can be stored. So we've got the checkers, which you can cut from any type of material that you want. Of course, you want some alternating dark and light for the, the checkers because, of course, that would make it easy to be able to see who's playing. Uh, but you've got on both the checkers, you've got this side here with just some concentric circles. And then you've got the king side there on both of the checkers there. And here's the dark side and the light one right here. So those can go right in there. And then you've got 64 circles that you can use for Othello pieces, which I really enjoy a lot. And I cut them out of, I cut them out of black and white acrylic. And they're just the exact same circles that the checkers are cut from. And all I did was take a white one and a black one and glued them together. That's all I did there. And I really like the way that looks. Of course, when you put it on the, on the board, um, it just really looks like your traditional Othello game, which I've grown up enjoying playing. And then let me show you the, uh, the chess pieces themselves. Just grab a couple of them. So I made these out of clear acrylic because I thought it looked really classy, but you can make them out of wood. You can make them dark, light, whatever you want. And what I did was I used the dark circle for the black pieces and the light circle for the white ones. And that looked really, I think, really super classy. I'll show you some pictures of those here. So the only adjustment that you're going to need to do in this design is for your material thickness here on the base. And you've got your slot here in the, uh, the, the piece base here. Sorry. Brain farted, of course, like I do many times on video. And you'll just, have to, you'll just have to adjust that slot to the thickness of the material that you choose to make the pieces out of. And then that way, it'll have a nice fit there. And you can glue them together, or if it's really nice and tight, you won't have to use any glue. So that is the one thing you're going to need to adjust. Well, there's one other potential thing. Depending on what magnets you buy, you may need to adjust this circle. Of course, in the listing, I'm going to include a link to the magnets that I used, but depending on what you use, you may have to adjust that circle and then you may have to adjust this slot. Other than that, everything should work just fine no matter what material you use. The only th other thing you need to keep in mind is if you take the pieces and you store them like this, the height of the circle right here, the height of the circle when the piece is laying down needs to be uh, below the height of these side pieces stacked together. If you use eighth inch and quarter inch, you should be just fine. But if you decide to use a bunch of, a bunch of eighth instead of uh, some quarter in there or something of that nature, just make sure that when this stands in there, that it's lower than this top part so that all the pieces can fit. Let me go over the materials one last time because I want you to see how these split up. You're going to use quarter inch and you're going to use eighth inch material. And you've got four pieces that are from the quarter inch which is this top piece with the grid. And then you've got two pieces that are identical here, these two here. And then you've got this spacer piece right here. Those are all quarter inch. And then the eighth inch pieces are the top and the bottom like this. And then the two top pieces that have the magnets that go in them. And then of course you can get all of the playing pieces out of the spaces inside, right here inside, whichever thickness you choose to use. If you use the same material, you can get them right out of all these spaces and then the bases you can get out of, out of these spaces as well. And then the inlays here, you've got two options. If you do what I did, you're gonna to need to cut all of these from 1 8 which is gonna be right inside one of these rectangles. Or if you decide to do, um, if you decide for this grid to be 1 8 then of course you can just use the pieces that come out of that as well. But all you really need is four total pieces of material, two acrylic uh, quarter inch, and two of the 1 8 inch. You're going to have a lot of fun making this one.